Alright, now we're going to measure for the length of our push rods. What we do before we put our roller rockers on, take a marker. If you can see the top of this spring, we're just going to color the top of that spring. So, there's that one. And there's that one. And we will put these bad boys on here. socket we're not checking for valve lash right now we're just for push rock blend so And we've got our crankshaft bolt on. Now, our crankshaft socket is right here. <laughs> so, we're gonna turn the engine over a couple times, completely over, to get an accurate reading of where this uh, roller is. Uh, on top of the spring, and it should have a wire pattern. there and if you can see the wire pattern is at the back instead of in the middle on both of these so that tells me we need a uh, longer push rod so now we'll put our push rod ticker in and see what we can come up with you got this uh, push rod checker it's from Howard Cans it's a 7.6 to 8 and a half and we'll go ahead and get it out level with our other push rods right there So each one after that, each thread is 50 thousandths. So let's try one full turn. There's half one. And run this bad boy back down. place here replace our roller rocker let's fill in a mark again see where we're at roller rocker we 
this bad boy on there. I can see it already. You can tell. The wire pattern is still towards the back. Oh, that's dead on. Perfect. Dead in the middle. So that's definitely where we need our push rod to sit. We got our push rod blend. We're gonna order those. Uh, if they come back in before we go on vacation, we'll go ahead and throw them in. If not, we will see you when we get back and the harmonic balancer should be here. And uh, we're getting super close to trying to fire this thing up and break in this flat tappet cam, so excited.